We in the Western jurisdiction are blessed with some of the most remarkable and diverse geography. From high desert to tropical islands, from the lowest point in the U.S. to the highest, from prairies to rainforests, every turn of the road reveals more of the beauty of God's creation. We're also blessed with diverse backgrounds, ages, races, ethnicities, languages, abilities, sexual orientations, and gender identities of God's beloved children. Every face we see throughout the Western jurisdiction reflects the image of God. We've learned that our life together is richer as we invite each person to bring their whole God-created self to our churches. We've had our own worldviews expanded as we've shared prayers and potlucks with those who don't look like us or love like us. We've delighted in the ways we've helped each other understand the fullness of God's grace. We rejoice that our reach as United Methodists extending the love of God goes far beyond the walls of our church and out into the world. In his first letter to the church at Corinth, the Apostle Paul writes, Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them and everyone. To each is given the manifestations of the Spirit for the common good. We in the Western jurisdiction delight in the ways the Spirit works through each person, helping build beloved community. We've learned that church is better when everyone is not only encouraged, but celebrated for bringing all of who they are to Christ's table. We know that our experience of God's love increases as we love one another. And you know something, once you've experienced the fullness of God's grace through human diversity, you simply can't go back to excluding some because of who they are or who they live. The Western Jurisdiction, where love lives.